There's a lot to unpack in today's Gospel reading from chapter 9, the Gospel of Mark. We're going to focus on the very end because it ties together as to where we are in our uh, approach to, uh, to Holy Week. So he's teaching his disciples, his apostles, and he says that in verse 31 it says that he, he is going to be handed over and he is going to be killed. He's going to die and rise again on the third day. So that's where the reading ends. Obviously this is taking us to Holy Week and Pascha. The very next verse, though, this is Mark 9.32, it says that after Jesus says this about being taken away and killed and that, it says that none of the disciples were willing to ask him what he meant because they were afraid. So, obviously his words confused them, but none of them were willing to ask him what exactly he meant by this going away and dying and rising again. Now maybe they were afraid of asking. Maybe they were afraid of looking foolish because this is territory that the Lord had been over before. But maybe, maybe they were afraid that he really meant what he said. Because in Judaism at the time, this idea of the Messiah was that he was going to be this glorious, victorious king. A dead Messiah simply did not compute in the minds and hearts of these people. So maybe they were afraid because he was going to, they were afraid he was going to say, yep, that is exactly what I mean. And then what do they make of all of this? Either way, there is an important lesson here for us in our own lives. The take-home lesson is a warning about not letting our fears get in the way of us growing closer to Christ. Because whatever it was that motivated that fear in the apostles, that if they'd have asked him what he meant, maybe they would have gotten more clarity. At the very least, they would have gotten more dialogue with him. But because they were afraid of asking, they were not able to go deeper into the, the mystery of what he was doing for us. We have to be so careful that we do not let our fears get in the way of us growing closer to Christ. People think about going to confession. Ooh, that one makes us all anxious. You know, the whole idea of confession seems very intimidating. And so we don't go. And that keeps us away from getting closer to Christ. Or we have questions about the faith. It's maybe something we hear in one of the hymns. Maybe something we read in, one of the, in a Bible reading. But we're afraid of looking foolish. And so we don't ask. And that prevents us from growing in our faith. Or we're afraid that if, if people know that, that we're Christians... Or maybe if they know that we're Orthodox Christians, what's that? And so we don't act. And that gets in the way of us being a disciple of Christ. So we have to be so careful. One of the things that many of us are afraid of, maybe all of us at one time or another, is that to, to get deeper into our faith is going to mean change in our life. It's going to mean challenge. It is going to mean stepping out of our comfort zones. And who wants to do that? I was talking with somebody, oh, this is a while ago now, here at the church, and we were talking about one, uh, one atheist scholar who said... I choose to not believe in God because if I believe in God, 
it means that I have to follow him and I can't just do whatever I want to do. He was afraid of losing his liberty, his freedom. And so he, was, he kept himself from growing closer to God. But this is something we need to do. There's this wonderful thing. I shared a quote earlier today in the, in the class from Father Peter Gilquist. So Father Peter Gilquist, when he was a Protestant and he was part of the, this second tier of the Campus Crusade for Christ in the 1970s, who left Campus Crusade and eventually joined the Orthodox Church, and they're doing this study of what did the early church look like. And Father Peter said that when it became clear to him that there was liturgy in the early church, he was incensed. He said, no way. Now, had he let his fear of the truth stop him at that point, we probably wouldn't even know who he is. So particularly, we cannot let our fear of change, our fear of getting out of our comfort zones, get in the way of growing nearer to Christ. 1 John 4.18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. We cannot let fear be an obstacle. Particularly when it is fear of learning the truth. Because my friends, it is much, much better for us to struggle through the truth, whether that's the truth about God or the truth about our own lives, but it is much better for us to struggle through the truth than to blissfully suffocate in a lie. And to the one who is the way, the truth, and the life, and to his eternal Father, and to his all holy, good, and life giving spirit be all glory, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.